I'm Dave Ford and in this screencast I'm going to show how we can use the score ladders for PowerPoint. So first of all we'll see where we can find them from. If you go to my website which is www.a6training.co.uk then go to resources and then PowerPoint you'll come to this page here with some resources in and one of which is score ladders for PowerPoint. If we click on that link there it will take us to a presentation which you can then save and open and it's this presentation here. So first page is the title, second page will give you some instructions of what to do and then the third page, um, third, fourth and fifth are the different options that you've got and you'll notice I've used the notes section for each of these to give you more information to help you do it. So what we've got here are ten, uh, these are called block ladders, this one is cumulative ladders and if I scroll down um, we've got twenty block ladders so you've got uh, different numbers and different styles. I'll just show you what the different styles are by running the slideshow here. So with block ladders, the way that it works is if you've got the red team and the blue team um, uh, scoring against each other, every time they score a point, you just click on uh, one of these things and uh, you move it up until they get to the top. So it's just a way of scoring. And you can see here I've got six different colours, so you can have as many or as few as you like, uh, up to six. Okay. The cumulative ladders, what happens here is uh, it actually keeps the score uh, as you click on it. So you can click to add or click to take away uh, scores from people. So it's whichever you prefer. And then the 20 um, one, obviously it's just got 20 rather than 10. And that one only comes in the block ladder option. So, if we want to use this in one of our own presentations, what we need to do is decide which of the styles you like. Let's say you want to use the 10 cumulative ladders. Now the easiest way is to right click on the slide and copy the whole slide. And then go into your own presentation and just paste it in as a slide. And the reason I say that is I've taken off the slide transition because otherwise if you just miss one of your boxes when you're clicking it would take you forward a slide which you probably wouldn't want. So I've taken that off. Um, it, let's say we only want um, to have three teams. What you could do is you could very easily come in and just delete the bits you don't want. So I could for example just get rid of that lot, that lot and that lot and I've created three score ladders. Um, if I wanted just two and I wanted to have them on the edge of the pages, red and black, I can get rid of them, I can highlight them, and I can use my cursor keys to move them across. So I can move them around the screen, uh, I can do whatever I like with them. Um, this button here it allows me to go forward a page, uh, so I'm going to the next slide. So when I run this slideshow, I've now got my two columns, and clicking on the numbers allows me to keep score and we can have a competitive activity first team to get to 10. I used to use this because I was a sports science teacher and my learners were naturally quite competitive so if I was doing any sort of like questions, not when I say questions in PowerPoint but sort of verbal questions, I could have two teams, uh, who gets the right answer first gets a point okay and it was just a way of giving a bit of an edge to a lesson um, or a certain activity um, and it's just something extra to do. It's quite easy. You have to do is copy and paste that into your presentation, and it's quite a smart little way of um, of working with the learners.